That's how you pick a crab out. What I'll do is I'll show you how to hold it, okay? Right. It won't bite you, I guarantee you. Come on, sweetie, we got you here. Not really, it's ugly. Like those are the ugliest things yeah, I've ever delicious. seen. Aren't they neat? All you do is you hold it just like that, okay? So you got Where's your, its teeth? Uh, its teeth are right there, see? Oh. See? Huh. You know, put, if you get those things to snap on you, then you don't okay. like that. They're real bad. Take your finger right off. No, right. no. <laughs> all you have to do is all you have to do is hold it just like that. Are my hands gonna smell all day? No. <laughs> Probably rest of the night. Now, real tight. Put the glass down. Okay. And go down. Now turn it up. Turn it up. Okay. There you go. It's there you gross. go. See? No, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> You're doing a great job. Look at that. Way to go, Courtney. Okay. Thanks. There I you never go. Did that okay. Before. Look at that. Oh, he almost got my arm there. <laughs> I had one bite my finger, and oh. uh, and the. Uh, the joint will start separating. That's how, that's how hard they bite. It's like a bite. Yeah, it's like a bite. So that one was pretty small. So what are these? These called these to call what? What kind of crab? These are actually from Oregon. This one's a little bit boy. This one's a little bit bigger, but not all that big. Yeah. These all came in yesterday. Yeah. So, from where? Happy. Uh, <laughs> they don't want to be here. Okay. Okay. He's got the crabs, dear, and I don't mean Dungeness. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's move on. So, what do you do with them? Right. Do you have the food sucks. OG? I think. Do you understand the difference? Not really. Well, you know, like crab and lobster and those little you don't like yucky crab things that we touched. No. Courtney, you're really oh, you day. <laughs> <laughs> Back here in Post Alley, uh, just right off of the market. It's kind of a little artsy fartsy type uh, pasta area. Right. Little coffee shop, SBC, Seattle's Best Coffee. It's a rival of Starbucks. Kind of like the coffee plant. Exactly. Just like Coffee Plantation, except there's one on every corner here instead of just one. <laughs> Look, it's the car. The family car. The family car. The family truckster. So where to now, T Rock? I, I think. Where should we go, man? Let's get some eat. Yeah, food. Okay. Check it out. Let's get some food, man. I'm, okay. I want to grub. I'm really jonesing for food right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Isn't that where Kurt Cobain like jumped off? <laughs> It would be kind of cool if we made a video to this song. Yeah, like a Pearl Jam thing. <laughs> Okay, so our video, we're, uh, we're in Seattle Center right now. We're going down to the fountain where the, uh, they have the little candlelight visual for Kurt Cobain after he died. You know, I, I love the reporters from MTV that were all in here doing that because they asked, you know, all the, all the mall kids and all that, you know, how did you feel when you heard Kurt Cobain was dead? Like, like screw you, MTV, you know what I mean? Like, completely. I was jumping up and down and I was very personal. You know? Yeah, really. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I want to know if his house was for sale, because like, like Washington Waterfront, it's pretty uh, hard to come by. Kurt Cobain was an emotional moron. Here in Seattle, this is where the International Fountain was. They're, they're remodeling, refurbishing, and redoing it. And that's where they lit all the candles and stuff for Kurt Cobain after he died. So. Now it's just a big swamp hole. Kind of cool. Maybe they'll name it after him. I don't know. <laughs> Check out this vid. Let's do a Kurt Cobain video. Why not? Ah! Nirvana. I hate myself and want to die. I wish. <laughs> Random. What's up, dude? What's up, T Rock? We're going up the top of the Space Needle. Man. Oh, right on. It's pretty cool. Somebody's calling me. There's a crowded elevator. Uh, don't don't you wish you were that? You got more of them all in one. I envy these guys. They're going to lunch. Afraid of heights, claustrophobic. We're traveling at 10 miles an hour this evening. This is our north elevator. We're going up 500 feet to our revolving restaurant and then. 
20 feet above that is the observation deck level. The level we just passed through the skyline level, that's where the safe way party is tonight. So you'll be coming back to that in about 20 minutes. The uh, tower was built here. For the world's first time, it actually was built here in 1962. And on the grounds, we have 74 acres lit up from the world's fair. That's the city for the Seattle Center now. On your lower right side, you'll see uh, Freshwater Lake Union and our lovely traffic to see me over there on I-5. To your far left, you can see the Saltwater Fusion Sound. This is the revolving restaurant. I have two guests getting off here for dinner. Where are you? Here. Oh, good. You step <laughs> off here to the left and check in and you're welcome to We'll have another four seconds and we'll be at the observation deck. The cocktail lounge is to the right up here. There's indoor and outdoor viewing. Espresso is straight ahead. We're open till midnight. Here we are. Enjoy your visit. <laughs> Diablo back with you, Tyson and Courtney. We just got done doing the fish market thing, which is like right over there. Yeah, right down on the water. Down park. there. Come on in, Courtney. We'll show them where that is from here. We're inside the Space Needle. Yeah, it's kind of windy up here, so if, yeah. you, if you hear the old on the screen, it's just because the wind's blowing. Oh, just a tad. So yeah, we're up here. That cloud right there. Yeah, it's Tyson and It's the deal with the clouds, man. The rest yeah. of the city. Godzilla? They're filming a new Godzilla film. It's going to be rated R. It's directed by the guy that did Speed. Cool. Ooh. And it's um, Godzilla is attacking LA and San Francisco. Cool. Like they need more problems. Exactly. Like it's Bob Diablo. Check out this video. We're going to show you some more stuff from Seattle. And we're going to finish up tonight at a place Tyson just keeps raving about. Some place called Spuds or Studs. Studs? <laughs> Spuds. Spuds. Spud. Like the potato, dude. We're going to go to Spuds. Let's get some chow. What's that water stuff down there? That's, That's like called the, the Pacific Ocean. Ocean. Hey, look, it's a Kelly fairy. Bay. That's where all the life forms, most of the world's life forms, live in the ocean. Cool. And we get to eat them. That's even the best part. Ugh. <laughs> oh, there's my ride. Oh, here are the cops. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that helicopter. They're using emergencies in case this thing tilts. Oh, my God, we're tilting. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Diablo can. Oh, wow. Dude, it's wet up here. <laughs> hey, there's that fairy thing. They should have ferries in um, Arizona. I think we should petition for a ferry for Phoenix. They used to have one. Yeah, not down in Van Buren. I'm talking like big no, boats. No, no, okay. the Hayden's Ferry at the Salt River, dude. Oh well, yeah, but then they dried it up. Yeah, and then they built. So the they built that new lake. Are they going to have it back? I don't know, man. You know? I think it's just going to be a jet ski. Wow. Dude, we can film a cop show up here. Dude, it's dun, about dun. 20 degrees up here. It's kind of cold. I know. Are you guys freezing? Yes. My, See, I came prepared. I'm from Alaska. These my, guys are from my Seattle. Nuts are cold. Tyson lived here. Well. It's been a while. I've been at ASU for three years, oh, man. And you forget. We'll get this shot and then we'll go back in. Downtown Seattle. If I want the Seahawks could play well. KSR video. Mm -hmm.